Leos. I'm back, y'all, with another video. I'm back with another video. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. So this is going to be a video for December the 1st through the 7th. Yes. Okay, so we're going to see what is coming towards my Leos. What's going on with my Leos? From December the 1st through the 7th. All right. If you are new to my channel, welcome, guys. Happy to have you here today. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because I promise you, you're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right. So, um, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, guys, all of that information is in the drop box below. I'm doing a special for new clients. If you are new, you uh, can get a reading for $25, okay? $25 is going to be the introductory rate. Of course, my readings are way more than $25, um, but this is for, you know, for new customers, okay? If you want to check out the website, guys, it's very, very, very unique uh, store. <laughs> I have handmade ritual oils that I handmade myself. All right, I also have spiritual gear. We got protection amulets. We have all types of things over there, guys. Necklaces, all types of all types of different things. Uh, sage bundles, lavender bundles. Like, it's a lot of different things over there on the website. Go ahead over there and check it out after you watch this video. All that information is in the drop box below. All right, so are y'all ready? Let's do it, Leos. All right, what message is there for my Leos for December 1st through the 7th? Show me Leo's energy. All right. Okay, we got the queen of water here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Uh, you could be dealing with the water sign. Some of y'all could be, you know, in your feels. In your feelings. So deep in your feelings. <laughs> All right, we got the eight of earth. All right, so maybe you're trying to explain something. You're trying to explain or express yourself or be more loving and caring. Show your more loving, caring side. Yeah, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is somebody putting forth some action, okay? So this is somebody putting forth some effort. <laughs> so maybe some of you are working on your more sensitive side, working on your more, you know, sweet side. That could be. Let's see what's going on. Some of you just could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. First card we got here is the star, Aquarius' is energy. But this is having hope. In a situation, this is healing. This is transformation. We got the six of water. Okay, so this is someone thinking about the past. Maybe you're hoping that someone returns or someone comes back. Okay. Um, the king of fire, you guys, is energy. Okay. Okay. This is very passionate energy. Okay, so you're, you're trying to rekindle. I feel like some of you want the fire, the romance back in something. This person could be very, very fun, beautiful. Um, the romance and everything is so good. Like, it's just the, it's everything, right? Yeah, I'm getting like you hope this person is thinking of you. Or you hope that this person comes back. Um, could be a fire sound like yourself. Could be a water sign, could be an Aquarius, could be an earth sign. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Leos. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. The star card. Why is the star card here? Yes, y'all want a second chance. Y'all hope that this person comes back. 
Y'all are missing somebody. Okay? You've been waiting a long time. You've been waiting a long, long time. And you're you're you want this person back. See, yeah, this is a wish fulfillment. You want to talk to this person. You want you want to communicate with them. You want to have an open, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. For some of you, the situation got really, really toxic. You could be feeling like this about a Capricorn with the devil card here. The situation was really toxic. Someone here could even be married, okay? Someone here could even be married and is now in a relationship. But you want this person back. Like, you want this person back. Okay? Maybe you feel like this person, you know, oh, they made a decision. Or you made a decision in the past. See, we got the Six of Cups. And we got Pisces' this energy here. Pisces could be involved. But this is things that are hidden. Okay? Maybe you've been hiding this feeling. Maybe you've, you know... You've been keeping things in the dark. Or maybe this is a situation that was kept in the dark. But I feel like if this person was to give you a chance, you you would be the knight of swords. Like, you you want, you want this person back. And you you think about this all the time. You think about it at night. Like, you, you're constantly up thinking about this. Waiting. Anxiously waiting. Wow. You want this person back. Why is the six of water here? Yeah, the Six of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, somebody walked away. Somebody moved on, okay? Um, maybe you was hoping that it was just like a break. It was going to be like a little split, a little miniature little split, and y'all were going to get back together. But this person, you know, moved on. Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Queen of Swords could be involved. Libra Gemini Aquarius. But maybe you want to ask this person, like, what happened? Like, how are they feeling? Why did you, why did they do you like that? Why did they cut you off? Okay, we got the King of Pentacles here. I'm sorry, the King of Wands here. Okay, we got the King of Wands here and here. The Passion, okay? I feel like you still really, is very, very... You know, feel this could be sexual energy, okay? You're thinking about this person a lot, though. Could be definitely. I'm getting you guys' this energy, strength, and the sun, which is you guys' energy. Could be a Leo like yourself. Uh, but yeah, we see we got the Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe the situation wasn't just meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. But the thing about it is, is. The thing about it is, is, and see, you may have known, like, this person could be a player, and you knew that about them, but you still can't help the way you felt about them with this Ace of Cups. You still can't help the way you felt about them, okay? You still couldn't help. You still couldn't help it. You still couldn't help it. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Page of Cups. Yeah, you want to ask them what happened. Maybe you want to catch up with them. Yeah. Like, I'm getting like you're, you're wanting to talk this out and see, like I said, but that five of wands and the seven of cups, there was a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of a lot of miscommunications, and it possibly definitely is with the Capricorn, um, with that ace of swords. Like, you really do want to communicate. You want to talk to this person. You do. Why is the king of fire here? Yeah, the sun. Definitely could be a Leo. But, like, you just want to talk. I'm telling you, you want to talk to this person. You'll be so happy if this person just calls you and, you know, uh, just you just you just want to hear from them. You want to see what's going on. I do feel like you're hoping that this person returns. I do feel like you want to see this person. We got the Five of Swords that jumped out. So there could have been some pettiness going on you may have realized your flaws you may be looking back at the situation and say hey this is where i messed up at maybe i was being petty maybe i was i did you know you know and i feel like <laughs> with the justice card maybe you've learned your lesson this could be vice versa now because i know some of y'all gonna get in that comment section and say um it's that's not me that's that's them see we got the eight of cups see this person walked away 
And and either you walked away or they did, and it's because you possibly found out that they were there were other people. There were other people involved. For some of you, this could have been a karmic situation. Yeah, see, this person has moved on or you've moved on. I feel like this person has moved on, y'all. The Eight of Cups and the Chariot card, I feel like this person left and, and they've moved on, okay? Someone here could definitely be married, okay? Maybe they didn't tell you that they were married with the Four of Cups or you're disappointed that you guys weren't able to take things to the next level or something to that nature. I feel like some of you guys, not everyone, okay? But some of you guys are feeling, you know, single. And even though I feel like you're very well off single, I just feel like you just miss this person, okay? Yeah, see, like, you want to try again. You want to start fresh. And like I said, you, you would hop on that opportunity if, it, if this person was on board, okay? And this is the thing, the secrets from the past, okay? The secrets from the past came back to haunt this situation, okay? Yeah. All right, let's see what this person wants to say to you. What does this person want to say to Leo? What does that person want to say to Leo? I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. But this person is very undecided at this time. Like, they're undecided about you, okay? And they need time to think this through, and they don't want to be rushed. Okay, they don't want to be rushed. And when they feel like it's time for them to reach out to you, they will. But they don't want to be rushed. They don't want to feel pressured. None of that. Like, I have seen the future with you and I want you by my side. Okay. But what I'm seeing here is leave me alone, please. Okay. So it's like at one point in time, somebody wants somebody to leave them alone and somebody keeps saying that, you know, like, hey, let's be together, let's hook up, let's do this, 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 that. And somebody here is like, leave me alone. Leave me alone, give me some space, give me some time. My ego is loud, but I am listening to my soul, okay? And they know exactly what it is that they need to do. They know what they need to do. Like, they don't need to be pushed or pressured. They know what it is they need to do. And they're listening to their own spirit and God's, okay? My head isn't clear enough to make a decision. I am listening to my guys. Didn't I just say that? I just said that. Okay? I just said that. And, and right under that, I can't let go of the past. I feel like somebody here could not let go of the past, okay? Somebody here was hanging on hanging on to the past, and things just may have gotten out of hand, okay? Let's see what, let's see what else they have going on. They're focused on... If they have children, they're focused on their children. They're growing. They're maturing uh, for sure, for sure. And they're, they're courting. Let me tell you something. They are courting. There is someone else uh, in the picture, okay? Yeah, they have a main female, okay? There's a female here that they could be definitely courting. They got thoughts, okay? They're thinking to themselves, okay? For some, they are with the, like a baby mother or there's like a girlfriend that they're courting or someone that they had on the side or something like that. Their their thoughts is on their ch their child or children, okay? And they are they are trying to um they're they're trying to level up. Like, they're trying to grow up. It's definitely a process, but they're, they have something else going on. They have something else going on. Change. Yeah, see, they're making some changes, okay? They're making changes. 
gifts. See, their focus is on their child and children, maybe for the holidays. Okay. They're focused on, that's where their focus is. And then we have coffin. Okay. Yeah, they feel like it's not going to work. See, we got coffin and toil and labor. And I feel like they feel like that because we also have bad health. Like something, they just feel like the situation was toxic or like just not a good place for them. They could feel like, you know what, they'll end up in jail. Okay. Or they feel like you're trying to trap them or stick them. Okay. And then we got lovers. See, yeah. And then look at the bottom, we got marriage. Okay, so for some, there is a marriage involved, but for some, they're in a relationship, okay? This is why they are distant. We got journey, distant horizon, and marriage. For some, like, there's a long-distance relationship involved, or um, someone is possibly getting ready to get married, or someone is already is married, but they are in love with, and I'm just, I'm just being honest, I feel like, there's someone who they are already courting, okay? And I feel like they they are um, they are on a journey of maturity. Their focus is on you know their child or children. They're thinking about gifts and you know I feel like the holidays. Um, they're thinking of you know ways to change. They're making changes. Okay, and things didn't work. Things just didn't work. And, and like I said, with that Ten of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, I just, for some, it just may not have meant to be. Okay, and I feel like this person, we got the lovers. All right, so this person could definitely have something else going on. Yeah, see? We got the world card. They've closed this chapter, okay? They've closed this chapter. And and I feel like with the hermit card and the three of swords, this is someone who is sad, okay? This is someone who may feel heartbroken and is going on like a self-journey and kind of like isolating themselves um, to do some, some soul searching and some inner work and some healing, okay? They... they literally like i feel like they yeah see they may have went back to someone from their past okay someone from the past may have returned um but i feel like they they left you feeling you know sad or there's a third there was a third party there was third parties maybe you found out that there were third parties or they were dealing with someone from their past and this possibly pissed you off for sure, for sure. How, you know, you found out. I feel like you're, you intuitively, you knew that this person, this person was just too in and out or too back and forth. Like this person was showing you signs. And don't say that they were because they were. You intuitively knew that. You knew this already. You knew that's why they left. You knew they had something else going on. They're spying on the internet, okay? The world and the page of swords. I'm not sure who's spying on who, okay? Someone's spying on someone's marriage, on someone's relationship, or uh, there's, you know, someone's spying on somebody's family, but there's definitely spying going on here. And somebody's spying because something did not work. And I feel like this could be you spying because the situation you're trying to figure out why the situation did not work okay and you can't get off your mind you're constantly thinking about it you're gonna have to let this go you're gonna have to let this go I don't know why, but I'm hearing, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know, 
lying that you're fixing me when everybody knows it's clear that you're upset with me. Finally found a girl that you couldn't impress. Last man on the earth still couldn't get this. Y'all don't, y'all don't want to be, y'all don't want to be the one that, y'all don't want to be the one that they talk about is, um, <laughs> y'all don't want to be the one that, that they're, that they're saying is can't, oh, they can't get over it. And that's just that. See, I'm telling you. And I just said the same thing to, who did I just do? Which read I just, I just did something. Right now is the time to free yourself and find someone new. Find someone new, okay? This, this, what you, what had, was going on in the past, let it go. Let it go. Okay, I feel like this person did you in good. Like, they did you good, good. Like, it was good, good. And you want to talk about it. You feel like enough time has gone by. You want to talk about it, but let me tell you. Let me tell you. How does this person feel? How does this person feel about Leo's? See, I'm telling you, they feel like the situation was unrequited. It's not enough balance or chemistry to keep it going. We got to let your friends help you. Maybe you, you know, involved your friends or too many people were involved. And with religious factors, this is just saying like your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. You guys are in different paths. Okay. You guys are on different paths. Okay. What advice do we have for Leos? Ooh. Meditation brings answers. Trust. Ask your angels. Recovery. Okay, so you're going to have to recover from this, okay? It's going to take about a couple months. For some of y'all, y'all not going to immediately let it go. It's going to take y'all some time to get over it. Oh, the D was good. The P was good. It's going to take me a minute. Look. When it's a wrap, it's a wrap, okay? And this situation, it's time to wrap this up, okay? I just don't want y'all out here looking crazy. Like, people saying, like, oh, this person can't get up. No, not not my group of, not my group of people. I'll tell it like it is, and I'm telling what I see, and that's what it is. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, okay? I'm going to chat with y'all later, all right? Until next time, I love you guys. Mwah.